Hi, my name is Michael Riley. Um, the ABA appliance. I um, was hearing um, last year, um, beginning of the year 2022. I um, it's now uh, August of 2023 right now. Um, I was hearing uh, all over. Uh, in fact, one of my customers called me um, and said uh, he got a new refrigerator and it had five pin connector and a freezer. Um, and uh, the ice maker, he couldn't get the ice maker to uh, plug in because um, it was a different connector. Um, Whirlpool's um, constantly changing harnesses uh, with a different connector. Um, and now they've changed to this new uh, five pin connector um, in the freezer. And there's no reason for a five pin connector because there's only four wires, but Apparently they got the connector cheaper or there was more of them or whatever the deal was. So it's no big deal. It's just uh, one of the one of the sockets is empty and um, and it's a different connector than they've ever used. So there's no there was no harnesses um, ever made. So um, the other thing is that the uh, new ice maker um, they went to the modular ice maker about um, probably 20 years ago. Um, with the modular head on it um, and uh, like this here the modular ice maker um, and the uh, harness plugs in um, plugs in here plugs in okay and it snaps in and there's a locking tab so um, they they changed it um, and they went back to their old style um, where this head um, inside here is not a module anymore. This is a module. That's why they changed it. There's all kinds of switches and, and wiring and everything and, and it wasn't a plug-in um, harness. It was, it was wired in, which is called direct wire. So it was just wired in there. You can't unplug it or anything like that. Um, but they changed their new ice maker um, now to, uh, it has a, a pigtail with a plug out here. It's about three inches long, but it's too short to go all the way to the back of the ice maker to plug into the, into the back wall, their new ice maker. But it was on back order for over a year and a half now, but it wasn't even available. So <clears throat> um, the problem was uh, people, they were getting some of the ice makers, but they didn't have a harness. It's like an extension cord, because like I said, the, the, the pigtail comes out of here, it's wired in, so you can't unplug it, and you have to have like an extension cord, so it'll reach the back wall, called a jumper harness. So um, Whirlpool, no information from Whirlpool, no information from any of the parts distributors. Whirlpool didn't communicate with the parts distributors or, or anything. Even their own employees, when you call up customer service, they have no clue. For a year and a half, no clue. People are just like in the dark. They're online. They're just they're livid because they're buying a new refrigerator. Um, these refrigerators aren't cheap anymore. Um, and Whirlpool probably made like two, three million of them. That's what they usually do um, and sell them. And um, people are no. So people are telling me, oh, I'm just taking my refrigerator back. This is ridiculous. Um, it's just a nightmare. And that's the way Whirlpool. My experience, my opinion. It's the way they work, and I used to work. I worked for them uh, probably a couple years, um, about 40 years ago, and then I was in management even. And I got to management. I, I was there about eight months, and I said, "This is garbage. These people don't even know what they're doing." One of the comments they made was somebody at management said uh, to me the first day I was there, said, um, "Oh yeah, yeah, you're not going to make any changes. Uh, you're not going to make anything better because uh, Whirlpool's attitude is." Uh, Service is a thorn in their side. That, and that was just shocking to me. Um, he said, you're naive if you think anything's going to change. So apparently that's the way it still is because um, they just, customers are just livid. Um, no information, um, no ice maker, no harness. They have sending out ice makers without harnesses, sending out with wrong harnesses. This is a nightmare. So I, I, I jumped on it. When I got this customer of mine who called me, it was my accountant actually. Um, and I went over and I, was, I took a look at it and was like, 
Wow. Okay. Um, I I can fix that for you. Um, I'll make a harness. Um, and you know, I've been doing this almost 50 years. Um, full line tech and, and a service company I've run ABA appliance. So I made the harness, and from there I, I went online and I saw all these people just just going crazy, trying to get information. So I I made it into a product. Um, what I did was I, I changed the harness um, to allow it to work with the modular ice maker. Their ice maker, my harness, was not going to work with because it, you can't plug into their new ice maker. It has to have that extension cord harness. Um, and that's right here. This extension cord, this is called the jumper harness. It plugs into the... the it plugs into the connector here, and then it plugs into the back wall. Whereas, because that cord sticks out about, and there's a plug on it right here that plugs into this one. Okay? It doesn't plug into here. So, the modularized maker does plug into here. And then it goes back to the back wall and plugs in. You see that? That makes sense. But to have a core, a, a plug, and then another plug, it's just that's just poor engineering. Um, actually, my opinion is stupidity. Um, so I I, um, I designed it so that um, you didn't have to wait for their ice maker because there is none of their new ice makers out here. Um, so you, it's not like you can find one to plug the jumper harness into, even if you did have the jumper harness. You're still not going to have ice because you don't have their new ice maker. So there's these are readily available. They've been around for 20 some years. These modular ice makers. So I figured, you know what? The customer. The other thing that makes sense is that they're taking out an old refrigerator and they have a modular ice maker in it. If it's a Whirlpool, or even other brands have the, the modular ice maker in it. All the Whirlpool brands, Amana, KitchenAid, Roper, all of them have the, they have an ice maker in it. You use the modular ice maker. Even some of the Sub-Zeros, most of the Sub-Zeros use them. Most of the brands use this modular ice maker. <coughs> so, I figured, you know what? Forget about their new ice maker because it's still designed anyways. It's, it's, it's a troublesome design. I don't know why they went back to it. So, I'll make this new harness. Whirlpool will never make it. This five-pin harness, I call it. That's what it is. Five-pin connector plugs into the new connector in the back wall. This five-pin in the freezer. And then this plugs into the ice maker, the modular ice maker. Um, most, of these, most of these ice makers, these modular ice makers, come with a, a plug. So if they had a different refrigerator, an old refrigerator, they were going to have a plug in here already, but it's going to have a different... This will be the same, but they're going to have a different plug on this end. It might be that, an 8-pin, it might be the this 4-pin, it might be the round one. You see, the, the other end is the same. That They all plug in here. All of them plug into the... But they have a different end to plug into the freezer. Okay? This, this end is different that plugs in the freezer. I don't know why they keep doing that, changing the, the connector in the freezer. So, I designed this new harness to work, plug into the modular ice maker, and then plug in to the five pin connector in the freezer. Problem solved. You know, I just immediately was just uh, extremely busy making these because this was a solution. They didn't have to wait and buy a $150 new ice maker when they already had one from their old refrigerator. They were just going to end up throwing their modular ice maker away from the old refrigerator. There's no reason to do that. It still worked in most cases. So keep your old ice maker. Get this new harness that I designed that's nowhere available because I, I designed it to work with this because there's never been a 5-pin connector. So... Um, I'm selling them on my own website. I'm, I'm selling them on eBay. And uh, here I get um, McCombs Supply. They've been around since like 1952. 
or 53. Um, Nora and Ken, I believe it is, um, McCombs started it. Um, and they've been around a long time, 70 years. And I've done business there over the years. Um, well, they're on eBay also. They have a, a storefront on eBay. <clears throat> so all of a sudden I look and see that they're selling these after May, May 3rd of 2023 they purchased one from me one of my five pin harnesses and I was like oh maybe they want to sell them and they're, they're going to buy more from me that's the way business has always gone over the years but no no more sales. I even I messaged them and said, you know, if there's any questions you have or whatever, I have two harnesses. Um, you know, business like, like it's always been, like you've always done business with somebody else. If they have a product, you buy it from them. No, become supply, become supply. Starts selling them in July on eBay. So. It, and I look, I look at the, the specs on it, and it says, made in China. So what they did is they took my, because it's never been made before. I designed it. And I've been selling it for, like, like a, you know, going on two years. All over. I mean, thousands of them. Um, and, and so they, they start selling. They start selling. And I'm not selling them to them. So they went to China and had some in China make them these garbage Chinese products, um, and now they're selling them on on eBay. And I contacted them, and they're like, "Well, if you could prove it's your, it's, I mean, it's just this attitude." I said, "I've been selling them for two years. I designed them. It states right on the ad that I designed them, and they're nobody. But they're sell, the worst part about it." There's that attitude of prove it's yours. You know, just like a, unbelievable. I mean, you purchased it weeks before, you sent it to your your, your uh, engineering in, in China where you get parts made and they make it real quick for you and then you start selling it. It's, it's not rocket science to figure it out. Um, and it's my, my design because nobody would have ever made it because it didn't exist. I thought up the idea to go back and use the modularized maker instead of the new Whirlpool that wasn't available, still isn't available. It's on back order still, you know, a year and a half later still. So just this attitude with me. So then they, they, they um, after back and forth and messaging um, in that attitude with them, um, they said, uh, or um, they took it off, made it out of stock in their McCombs eBay account on eBay, their storefront, and they put it on um, another uh, um, account. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to go over there right now, but um, my computer's not, the cursor's not working. Um, and uh, I think it's Dapstar or Napstar or something like that. On another account that they have, it's exact same ad, everything's the same, the picture, the, the whole format of the ad, everything's the same. It's them. Um, and so, I haven't contacted them yet, but just the dishonesty is unbelievable. Um, they used to be a credible company, and I I just can't believe they're doing this. And they're selling garbage, uh, garbage Chinese-made garbage. Um, but they stole my design. And then they're they're arguing that prove it's yours. Um, my sales and, and my websites uh, for two years proves it's it was my design. Um, it states on all of them that I designed it and anyway. So in the court of law, uh, I would have no issue there. Um, but just consider um, what you're what you're doing um, when you're buying uh, parts like, like these five pin harnesses or any other parts from like Macomb Supply, that's their character. It's, it's a fact. I've got proof to back it up. If you want to do business with people like that that, that, that steal my product or who, whoever else's they may have done the same, some, same to, I have no idea if they have, 
but I know they did to me, um, and I got proof of it. Um, decide whether you want to do business, because there's a lot of parts houses out there that, are, that have integrity. Um, I'm going to choose to use somebody else. That's your decision, but I wanted you to be aware that's how Macomb Supply has been in my experience with them. And this has been just in the last week, and this is August 4th, 2023. So I've done a lot of business with them over the years, but I would say Nora and Ken McCombs are probably rolling over in their grave. That's not the way they built their business, taken from other people. They would contact another business. I know they would, because they did business the way every business does did in the old days. You, and the proper way of doing it is you contact somebody and say, hey, um, I'd like to sell that product too. Can you give me a break on it? A wholesale cost? Um, see if we'd like to order some from you? That's the way you do it. You don't steal the product, buy it from, buy one of them from, copy it, and then and then start selling them yourself. That's that's counterfeiting. Um, that's the way all the stuff in China is, is, is made. It's everything's counterfeited, sent over here from China, because there's no laws over there stopping them from doing it. Everybody knows that. Um, so that's uh, that's apparently what uh, McCombs uh, endorses. Um, and I, I can't do business with a company like that. And I hope that other people have the same integrity as me and stay away from them. That's your choice. But I wanted you to be aware of it with, with their uh, practices, uh, with regards to me anyways. And I'm sure if they're doing it with me, what would stop them from doing it with anybody else? It's all about the almighty dollar, apparently, um, and whatever cost. Um, so um, it's sad to see that, and it's more and more these days things are that way. People don't do things honestly like they used to. Um, not everybody, but too much of it. Um, so um, that's uh, my experience. Um, there's one other person on there, and, and uh, it's an all, all-star uh, appliance parts or something. Um, he's doing the same thing. He's selling Chinese-made, and they're copies of mine. So I don't know if he's buying them from McCombs, um, but I asked him to stop, and uh, I don't have to do anything you tell me. You know, it's like um, uh, I'm not getting them from you, and, and he just didn't even understand. He was a Mexican guy, and he didn't even, part of the, it was, I think it was a um, communication um, barrier. Um, he didn't seem to understand what I was saying, but um, just crazy. Um, and so uh, I'm going to make some of these videos and I'm going to make it known what they're doing um, and just tell the truth. Um, and there's not a thing they can do about me telling the truth. Um, so um, be careful out there. Um, there's a lot of garbage products out there. But if you need a five pin harness for the five pin, um, the new Whirlpool made refrigerators that have a five pin connector in the freezer for the ice maker. Um, I make them. It's uh, fivepinharness.com, and it's the number five, not five spelled out. It's number five, pinharness.com, fivepinharness.com, um, and uh, I actually have my harness, and I also make the um, uh, jumper harnesses for the new Whirlpool ice maker as well, that extension cord, um, as you saw. That's the, that's the extension. All right, so take care. Thank you.